Hey everybody, Thomas Vanderkin here from the Vanderkinverse. I got two mice I'm gonna unbox today. The Lenovo Go USB-C wireless mouse and the Lenovo Go wireless vertical mouse. Okay, so I did a, quite a bit of research on these two mice before I uh, came here to unbox them and I want to I thought it'd be best to compare and contrast them because they're actually quite different in the features and functions of them. So, first of all, it's a, US, it's a Lenovo Go, so it's going to have this uh, nice little rip tab on the back to open up the box. Nice consumer packaging. Let's open it up and get into the first one, which is going to be this uh, USB-C wireless mouse. Pull it out with the box inside the box. And here we go. Okay. USB-C wireless mouse. So here's the USB-C adapter. The, that's the interesting thing about this is that it has USB-C for the dongle and also you can charge it with USB-C here if I can get this open. So it has a built-in small little battery. You charge it with the USB-C cable and it lasts uh, I think for a month and a half, something like that, on a charge, and it takes about two hours to charge. Or you can do a quick charge in 15 minutes and you'll get like a week of charge on it. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if there's anything else in the package. I don't think there is. I think that's it. Oh, it, oh, it does come with a USB-C to USB-A dongle um, for charging. So there we go. Okay, so that's mouse number one. Now we're going to do mouse number two, which is the Lenovo Go wireless vertical mouse. Notice no USB-C in the title, so let's open this up. Same consistent Lenovo packaging, which we're all getting familiar with for Lenovo Go. Pull it out. Let's take a look at this. So this one is has a lot of different capabilities and features, benefits. Uh, you'll see obviously first it's a vertical mouse. Also inside the package is a battery, which you're going to wonder why does it have a battery. And then also it's a USB-A uh, dongle. Um, and then uh, that's it. Nothing else. Well, let's see. Nothing else inside the package here. No no cable to charge because you don't, this one doesn't charge. This one instead uses a double A battery but it's supposed to last for about a year and a half on a charge for this. So you get your different choices there. Either rechargeable USB-C built in, have to plug it in, or USB-A. So a couple cool things I wanted to show you. So let me bring over this laptop here. First of all, this is the uh, Lenovo ThinkPad Z laptop. Uh, you can see I could just plug this uh, dongle in here for the USB. It, on the side for USB-C and we're good to go with this mouse um, connect and that's it. However this mouse you can see the dongle the vertical mouse comes with a USB-A dongle well this laptop has no USB-A just USB-C SD card reader and more USB-A so if you wanted to use this mouse with this laptop, you'd have to use some kind of adapter, like this Lenovo 7-in-1 adapter. Plug it in, and then put this charger in here. Put, I mean, not the charger, the dongle in here. So then you could use this mouse with this laptop. So a couple other features that I like. This one has built-in Qi charging, so that's why I put this uh, Lenovo USB um, C brick here because it has Qi charging built into it. So all you have to do on this is uh, push the button to turn on the Qi charging when it starts blinking, set the mouse on top, it connects and automatically charges the mouse with Qi charging. So that's a pretty cool feature built into that. Both of these have about the same DPI. You can change, uh, you can scroll through the different DPI settings. Uh, this one with the quick clicker. Um, but uh, obviously this one, the vertical mouse, 
the big advantage it has is that it is vertical. So a little personal story for me, I actually had a problem with mice. It sounds crazy, but uh, I, the way I held my mouse was way out to the side like this. I had a regular mouse like this. I used it for years. Pretty soon I got a stress injury in my shoulder. I couldn't lift my shoulder up beyond right here. I had to go to physical therapy for like two months and they said it was all because of my posture and the way I was holding the regular mouse. So for me, I switched to a vertical mouse, bring my arm in, use it like this. It's a much more natural position. Uh, it's exactly what I need, you know, and since, since I started using a vertical mouse a couple years ago, no problems with the shoulder, everything still works fine. So big fan of the vertical mouse and checking your posture when you use it due to uh, issues I had, so. So that's it. Similar uh, capabilities as far as the DPI and how accurate the mice are, but very different in the way they connect, either USB-C or USB-A, the way they charge, either with a AA battery or charging, you know, with the built-in uh, rechargeable uh, features. But, um, yeah, in the bottom, can, they can each connect to up to three different um, devices, and you can scroll through the three different devices if you want to use it for, like, a two different computers and a desktop or whatever. So that's all built into there. They all have a great look. This uses some kind of cork, um, you know, recyclable materials and some extra programmable click buttons on the side. And they both have a nice scroll wheel feature built into it. But, so that's it. Personal preference choice is about the same, about 30 bucks on Lenovo.com for either one, but two different Lenovo Go mice solutions that we checked out today. Hopefully you guys will, if you're interested, Go on Lenovo.com, I'll put the link below and you can check them out yourself. Thanks everybody.